Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today it's paralysis, absolute decision paralysis. I don't know if that's ever happened to you where you're trying to figure out what's the right way to do it, how should you do it, the most efficient way to do it, how's it gonna look when you're done. Yeah, that's where I was stuck and trapped and I needed out of that. So what had me stuck? It was the alphabet. I had these letters, and by the way, this is pretty much a giveaway for you for what my decision ended up being, and I needed to paint them all. I have the entire alphabet, some duplicates of certain letters, because I want to be able to spell whatever word I want and have it up on the shelf up there. Now, I had a lot to think about, I had a lot of decisions to make, and I wasn't getting anything done, but I had a deadline, I had a time limit because I wanted to spray paint them, because I wanted this to go quickly. And this was the one warm day. We've had 60 degree weather, so I can actually spray paint. Usually I have to wait until it gets warm enough, because you're supposed to be, what is it, 50 degrees or warmer to spray paint. So I took over the garage, and I knew I just had today to do it. So I had to make a decision, because the alternative was I was gonna have to get out a paintbrush and paint each one of these individually. <laughs> That is just not in my patient's wheelhouse right now. So here's what I did with them. I just put them all out on a card table and I started hitting them with spray paint. Now you're gonna see a little bit of some crazy hair here right on the edge of the screen. That's because I've got one of those uh, ventilator masks on or basically so that I don't have to breathe in any kind of fumes. And that apparently did a number on my hair and I didn't have any idea because well, I can't see the top of my head most of the time. Now before I started this, I was in paralysis because I really wasn't sure if I wanted to make each letter a different color because, well, I want to be able to spell words, but then that led to the problem of what if the color distribution didn't look quite right when I spelled words? And then I thought about making all of them one single color, and that, yeah, that didn't feel right to me either. And then I thought, well, should I put pattern on them? And then, so you can see how I was kind of stuck in the land of making a decision with this. And that's why part of me just kind of went enough. So I gave myself three seconds to make a decision and get started. Because really, what was the worst thing that was going to happen here? If I didn't paint them in a way that made me happy, then what could I do? Just paint them again. And as you can tell, I chose to throw the entire rainbow at the whole thing. So what kind of spray paints am I using to do this? Well, I'm using Liquitex spray paints and there are two, well, okay, three reasons why I like using these. One of them is the colors because they're the colors that make me happiest. And another reason is that it's got water cleanup. Now by water cleanup, what that means is if you get some of it on your hands, say you didn't wear gloves, which I'm very proud of myself for remembering to wear gloves today, uh, then you can use just soap and water to wash it off your hands. Now once this stuff is dry, it is dry and it's not coming off. So if you want to remove it from something, you want to do it while it's wet. And obviously that paint tarp that I've got there, the color isn't coming out of that. And the third reason is the low odor. It doesn't have a super strong smell to it compared to other spray paints, so that when these things are all dry and I take them inside, I'm not gonna get that smell of spray paint. Now I could have stopped at any point here. There's plenty of color on these letters. They would have done the job that I wanted just fine. So why didn't I stop? Because I was having fun putting color on stuff. Just adding one color after another after another. Having color spray and splatter, drips and runs and all that kind of stuff. It was just fun, so I kept doing it. So when I thought I had everything sufficiently rainbowized, I let them dry and then brought them into the studio. And hint for you, I actually didn't have all of them colored in. Yep, one of the letters is going to stay brown because I didn't do the proper side of it. So unless I want that letter to forever be backwards. So what letter is it? What was my oops letter, my outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly? It was Q. I really like how that side looks, but no matter how I turn it, it still doesn't quite look like a Q. This is the way that it really looks like Q. Now it's brown, and I'm just gonna call this an oops, an outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly. And I think in honor of that oops, I'm gonna keep it that brown. At least that's what I say today. But at any point if I want, I can always put more color on it. So here are some of my favorite letters from the play. Now gathering up the entire alphabet here, that was a little bit of an adventure all on its own because these letters were on clearance at Joann's and they didn't have everything in one store. So how many stores did I have to go to to amass all of these? Let's just say after about eight, I stopped counting 
Now, even with all those stories, there was one letter that eluded me, and that was the letter A. But what we realize is if I just take a V and flip it upside down, I can figure out a way to make it look like an A. So now I've got a functional working alphabet so that I can spell whatever words I want to put right there on my shelf in my studio. And you might have noticed from the beginning of the video that it might not just be a word, it might be a name that's up there. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play. If you've been enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you'd like to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button so you'll know as soon as I have a new video out. Want to see more of what I'm up to? Head on over to the blog at acolorfuljourney.com. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.